Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, good wow. Some familiar faces out here. My <laughs> name is Jackie Porter. I'm a director of product at GitLab. And I'm Kyle Seaman, a product manager with Amazon. Um, we're really excited to be here today to talk to you all. So we spend a lot of time with customers who are obsessed with the developer experience. They just obsess on how can they make it better day to day, and, and that's their role in the company. Turns out we also have a lot of shared customers who are using GitLab and AWS to build and deploy and do all of that. We recently met with um, a large airline company talking about generative AI, talking about developer experiences, continuous deployment, things like that. And one of the interesting themes was we don't want yet another tool. Like we, we've standardized on some workflows and how do we make it better? So that's what we've been spending some time on is how can we take the tools you're using, not add more tools, but bring tools closer together. And we're really excited to spend some time with that today. And really quickly, I want to see a show of hands. How many of you are current GitLab users or customers? Awesome. Beautiful. So what I'm going to say is going to really resonate with you. According to our 2024 DevSecOps report, individuals belonging to organizations that are doing AI-powered software development are really looking to consolidate their tools. And some of these organizations are using 16 or more tools and it's a really big drain on their developer productivity and efficiency. And AI development is really a key way for you to experience faster development cycle times and to do it less with more, uh, more tools and capabilities is, is really important. And this is why we're really excited to announce, coming to you in preview, GitLab Duo with Amazon Q. We're so excited to share that what these two capabilities and tools are going to be bringing to your organization is going to drive this improved AI development experience and you really will no longer have to compromise on comprehensive DevSecOps capabilities and an agentic AI experience. And when we began this journey, um, I guess over, over a year ago now, months yeah. ago, we had this big aspiration to make sure that every one of our joint customers could experience this comprehensive end-to-end -end solution, lifecycle development, uh, and have the most secure, performant, and powerful AI capabilities within that platform. And that's really what we're trying to achieve right now with this GitLab Duo and Amazon Q bundled offering. We're going to deliver it to our GitLab self-managed ultimate customers, and we're really pleased to see that this preview is that first step in that direction. We talk to the hundreds of customers and companies every day and work with them on achieving their goals to realize this faster developer productivity. And what we found is that these organizations are laser focused on improving their developer throughput, measuring it effectively, and ensuring that their end-to-end -end supply chain security is realized. At the same time, they're managing a significant amount of change in their own organizations, whether that's digital transformation, whether that's cloud migration, whether that's just managing, uh, keeping up with their own AI development processes. And all of these efforts boil down to one crucial goal. How can we, as a, as a team, accelerate cycle time as fast as possible? with capabilities like contextual agents, platform security, restricted, least privileged agent models for performance, all baked into this AI guardrail experience. Delivering this idea that again, you can deliver with your, your customer value with seamless developer experience without compromising this AI enterprise grade security and compliance. There are three core use cases that we'll be talking about in this preview presentation today, and they begin with the feature dev agent, or idea to merge request. We'll be talking about how you can streamline your Java application upgrades and migrations with Java app modernization. And we'll be talking about AI code reviews with enhanced quality assurance. The heart of this first use case is that accelerated feature planning and development with IQ's idea to merge request feature dev agent. The goal of this integration and partnership is really to accelerate that developer throughput for our GitLab and AWS customers. And that's really the exact purpose of this first agentic experience. 
What this means is that Queue Developer is going to be working within the context of GitLab issues and merge requests, providing code suggestions so that your developers can iterate very quickly with that Queue agent. And then once you are satisfied with that review, you can go in ahead and commit those changes to those merge requests and deploy them. This results in more consistent delivery, developer productivity, and even more secure code and high quality code. Let's see this feature in action. Yeah. So the, the first thing we did is our, our design tenant was use GitLab. Like, you know, you're, you're sitting with a stack of backlog items. They haven't been groomed necessarily. Maybe they're just like an idea. How do we reduce the time of experimentation? How do we let you take an idea and just sort of iterate on that quickly to get to where you want to go? And so this is the first one we want to show you. So this is a called idea to feature, uh, idea to merge request. So from a new issue or an existing issue, you can add in a description, you know, a title, and we have these new quick actions, these slash Q quick actions. So you'll see there's a slash dev on this. When I send that up, what that's taking, what's really cool, this deep integration is taking the context of the project as well as the full issue and using our Q agent to actually generate code now for this. In this case, it's the Next.js app that we're updating with the signup flow. The agent created a new routes table, added it to the right spot, and then it went ahead and actually updated the pages table as well, because that existed already. And so you're not done at this point, right? Just like you're working with any developer, you're actually able to add inline comments throughout, go through, and this, as many files are created, in this case, we'll say add logging. And just like you did on the issue, you can do slash QDev again, and this will take that feedback in, iterate on that. It'll tell you if it's using any open source code or any references, and when it's done, it updates the merge request, again, just like anyone else on the team would. Here we can see it added a new utilities under for logger, and even when it updated some of the existing code it had already written. And so if some of you may have played with slash dev inside of the IDE, uh, which is a really nice feature of Q and the IDE, but what we love in GitLab is this is where you're starting. It's like you're brainstorming some stuff, you've got the full project context, and you end up with an MR that now I can share with anyone on my team, I can get feedback on, and we can iterate through. I can even pull this down and add my own commits to it. So in some cases, it helps you get started. In some cases, it helps you maybe unblock some ideas. Uh, but it really helps you keep kind of in the flow of what you're doing. So that's the first example. That's slash dev. There's a lot of really interesting ways. It's a fun thing to play with from like prompt engineering and seeing what you can kind of build. Um, yeah, so that, that's one, that one's out there. And then we'll talk about Java. So for this next use case, I'm really interested in how many of you had to manually update your Java repositories. Show of hands. Yeah. Great. So I had to do this in my past life. And I know that this is a burden and a pain. And in order to manage each dependency, file change, recognize the cascading impacts. And transparently, my old organization, that kind of process took weeks to complete. So that pain of being able to orchestrate and plan a Java version upgrade is something that we know and we hear from, from our customers all the time. And what that means for this particular use case Q is going to go in there and it will transform the Java application version from 8 or 11 to Java 17 in a matter of minutes in a traceable, auditable plan in a GitLab issue and a GitLab merge request. Let's go ahead and see this magic happen. Yeah. Um, so we announced some of this yesterday. We're continuing to explore how we can help on Java upgrades. Like we, we talked to a, a customer who has thousands of legacy Java applications inside of GitLab. And, and we've had an experience inside of the IDE, which is great, especially for small projects where you're iterating. But some of these are longer asynchronous tasks. They take some time. They're, there's not something you want to sit and wait and watch run. And that's what we're really excited about where we can go with this integration is GitLab is a durable interface. You have a URL. It runs asynchronously in the background. And in this case, um, we'll show you how this works. So this is inside of a Java 8 program. Uh, it's a Maven program. And from an issue, you can just type in the new quick action, which is Q transform. And what this is doing at this point is this is a predefined agent, which is specially built to take this up, build, iterate, and try to upgrade the program. So there's multiple steps in the flow. First is actually using a GitLab runner to build the project. We then upload that to, to Q, where Q will actually build a transformation plan. And at some point, that's enough for some teams to move on. Um, once the plan's set in parallel, and this can take you know, up to an hour depending on the size of the project, Q will run asynchronously in the background, updating and migrating that code. When it's done, it comes back and updates the issue, 
and it opens a merge request that you can go and review. And again, what's so nice about this is uh, you get this full documented MR, what changed, what was the previous version, what got deprecated, did it build successfully, did it build to 50%? Uh, we return even at 50% because we found that that's valuable. Uh, and we'll see here that this is the full plan along with next steps of how you can kind of operationalize this. So it's not doing taking the developer out of the loop, it's, it's helping you get there faster. We're making the easy changes inside of the code for you. I think this is hundreds of lines of code change just for this one rather small application. And you can see we even hit into the runners where if you have any CI set up, you can kind of sanity check what Q is actually bringing back. And it's just a nice way to use the tooling you've set up already as an organization without having to like rethink that, but to get the benefit of these agents. Once this is done, um, you, yeah, you can merge it in, you can pull it down, you can test it out. A lot of different ways to work with it. But it's really easy to share with your team where you're already collaborating, and that's the big part of this. We've started with this. Uh, we announced yesterday some .NET coming to the other areas. You can expect language support to continue to grow for this one, but we've started with the most popular Java use case. And so the last use case that we want to show you is AI code reviews. So what we've heard from our customers is that it is painful and it's long lasting and it takes a lot of churn for developers to implement things like code quality standards, code styling conformity, even how to meet best practices for security standards. And Q Developer is really here to help. Q will go into this merge request that you've created, any merge request, and you can kick off review right in that context of the merge request, resulting in reduced time to implement fixes and changes in response to code conformity and, and security standards, resulting ultimately in higher quality changes. I'm excited for us to show you this. Yeah, so I think, you know, Lots of people use issues. Lots, what everyone uses in GitLab, no matter what, is the MR. And it's probably that and the runners are like this bread and butter of what this product is. And we were thinking about how do we bring agents into that workflow. Um, so in this, I'll show you where we started. So we now have a Q slash review. This is manually invoked during the preview. We think there's some opportunities to do this automatically. But what Q is doing is doing a standard set. First, it's looking at any deployment risks. Are you changing stuff without tests? And then it's looking for any vulnerabilities in the code which security scanners can do, but what's really cool is this queue fix. So anywhere you see a finding, you can run queue fix, and in the same way, directly integrated into GitLab that you would get feedback, you can actually get suggestions. You can reject them, but if you accept them, you, you know, it's, it cuts down your review time. The way our mental model on this is, how do I get feedback earlier? How do I find stuff out without having to burden someone else on the team? How do I, have, like, just get me feedback sooner on this process? We've released this in the IDE as well, but I'm particularly excited about the user experience inside of GitLab. And as we think about where this goes, you've got GitLab security scanners, you're setting up your organization. I think the slash fix is a really exciting idea, which is just fix it. Help me bring my code up to standard. Uh, and having the full project context with all of your standards and rules in place really allows Q to, and Duo to do something unique that you can't just do you know, on your IDE without that context. So, so that's review. Those are the three primary agents that we've launched so far. This is an in-preview offering. Uh, it's available self-managed, as we mentioned, ultimate. Um, if you're interested in trying it out, please definitely reach out. There's the GitLab booth over there. Uh, we're going to be around. But we're super excited for this. It's just the start um, as we bring more of the Duo capabilities into GitLab. Thank, Thank you, you guys. All.